is her new home on top of this handbag case. And I think her next move is out the door. She was on top of the other handbag um, shelf and I didn't like her over there. She was always in the way. And now she's kind of out of the way here, but I don't like the pot. I don't like how long and curly she is. Truth be told, this is Winston plant, but we needed some place to put it when we moved into the house. And I thought it would be cute in here, but I don't know. I always forget to water her. Next step is out the door. This is the handbag shelf she used to be on. She used to be up there. You guys might remember her from some of the other videos. But I moved her because she was always getting in the way every time I would take a handbag off the shelf. So now she's over here. We'll see how it goes. But adding more stuff to the closet sale, you guys. That dress is going on the closet sale. This um, is going on the closet sale. Everything in these bags is so many things. A cute little set you guys might have seen me um, wear. Take photos in. Some boots, a pair of platform sneakers. I got a pair of Stuart Weissman boots in that bag. A pair of jeans, a coat. It's a bunch of stuff, you guys, going up. So definitely check the closet sale. I'll have the website linked in the description box. But of course, I'll always let you guys know when more stuff goes up. So, And this dress is from Banana Republic, by the way. It's super cute. Okay, so looking at her right now over my shoulder, she don't look too bad. But anyway, hey, you guys. So I am. I just finished cleaning up, putting away some things. And now I'm going to pack up some outfits because tomorrow I have to shoot two campaigns. And I need some like additional Instagram kind of content. So I'm hoping I can get everything done tomorrow. So I made some outfits. You can see over here I have everything um, on the hangers. And some things I'm just going to put in a suitcase. Um, usually I don't take suitcases to be honest because I'm only shooting like maybe one or two outfits. So I just have them on like in a, um, what is it called? Like one of those dust covers that you put coats and things in. I can't remember what it's, a garment bag. Come on, get it together. Usually I just put them in a garment bag or something like that. But because I am going to be somewhere where I can be comfortable, I'm just going to put it in a suitcase and then I can just unpack or like hang everything up once I get where I'm going tomorrow. So I'm going to put these stuff, This maybe not everything, um, maybe just some things I'll put in the suitcase, like the shoes that I'm going to take and um, the things that I don't mind folding up, <coughs> which is like the, a couple of sweaters and a dress or something like that. And then the shoes, like I said, and then whatever jewelry I'm taking. And then that's it. I'm going to pack it up and then I'll have everything ready for it in the morning. I'm going to be photographing these. I don't know if you'll be able to see them because the pants I'm wearing with them are so long. But finally, these these are um, Jessica Simpson. And I got these from Nordstrom Rack, I believe. I showed you these, these a long time ago, like summer sandals. And I still have not worn them. Can you believe that? So anyway, these are coming along. They're perfect. And then I'm taking my Sam Edelman pumps. These are the basic that I always tell you guys about. These are going to come because they're going to go with a red dress that I'm going to be wearing. A red sweater dress. Do you guys always turn your white stuff inside out? Even when I'm in the store and I've decided like I'm going to buy something, I always turn it inside out. And when I get to the um, the register, the cashier is like, turn it right side out. And I'm like, no, no, leave it inside out. <laughs> I just feel like it stays protected. <laughs> so that's it. I'm packed up pretty much. I did leave the suitcase out and open because if I think of anything I want to throw in last minute, it's just already open. And then I could just zip it up in the morning before I go. I do have to put together my accessories, which I'm going to keep it simple because a few of the outfits are sequined and it's like chunky sweaters and blazers and things like that. So the jewelry will probably be very simple. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, I do have to jump back on the computer and do a couple more things um, work-wise. And that's it. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to take a shower, do some skincare maybe, and then um, exfoliate and all of that so I can be ready for the shoot in the morning. And that's it, you guys. I'm going to check in with you tomorrow. Good night. Hi you guys, so it is a new day. In the last clip you guys saw, I was showing you guys how I packed for a photo shoot. And today I was actually supposed to be going on my photo shoot, but when I woke up this morning, it just wasn't the vibe. You know, so I didn't force it. It was a really rainy, gloomy day, so we'll do it tomorrow. Now my, you know, my dad, I have some time before my deadlines, so we'll just do it tomorrow and it'll be fine. But I did get a package in the mail that I'm excited to open with you guys on camera. Now, this is actually supposed to be my birthday present. I kind of ruined the surprise. Winston ordered it and I knew that I was going to get the bag earlier this year, first of all, but then I decided to just wait um, because there wasn't a color that I was interested exactly in having yet. So I was like, I'll just wait and see what happens. And I, you know, I just wasn't sure about it. Then, uh, you know, I had already told Winston I was going to order the bag. We talked about it. I'm like, when I get excited about something like, you know, cause I changed my mind a lot. That's the thing. I changed my mind a lot. So I'm like, Oh, I like this one. I like this one. I like that. Whatever. So I always like changed my mind 
throughout you know this year as far as what luxury things i was gonna get long story short winston ordered the bag I, he was gonna surprise me with it but i realized that i wanted to use rakuten to order the bag because you get cash back so when i was like oh my gosh there's only a few bags left he was trying to distract me from ordering the bag so when i realized there's only a few bags left i'm like hold on i gotta get my bag before it sold out because i had already seen it sold out on different websites if i didn't mention it it's a bag that i got here to show you guys <laughs> so anyway um it was sold out on a few different websites i had seen it on louisa v aroma then it sold out in the color that i wanted i had seen it on um the main brand's website but there was no like incentive to order from the main brand's website so i knew that i wanted to order it from a place like louisa v aroma or uh, where i got it from is essence i ended up ordering it from essence because i couldn't find it anywhere else it was selling out um i had seen it on some other websites but it, they, it was selling out so i was like oh no i gotta get this bag so anyway winston ended up ordering it but i kind of ruined the surprise because i was going to order it again without knowing that he already ordered it and then um that's when i found out he ordered it he told me and so i had to i told him he had to cancel the order because we had to reorder it so we could get the cash back from the rakuten i felt like it was worth it you know what i mean and honestly i didn't care that i had the bag on my birthday so i knew that there was a chance that the order um because we had we had to reorder it because of all the delays holiday shopping all that i already knew that there was gonna be a chance i wasn't gonna get the bag until after my birthday but honestly i didn't care so now that i got it i'm gonna open it and I'm excited to see it. And the reason why I'm also opening it now is because my birthday's not till next week. I don't want the bag to just sit. And if there's something wrong with it or I don't like it, I want to just go ahead and send it back. Okay, so actually I got two things here. So I have something from Saint Laurent. And this one... I just was like just a little add-on i knew i was going to get this as well i didn't i originally just wanted it in black with gold hardware but then when i saw this color i was like i gotta get this and i think this might have been one of the few things that didn't have a price increase and i've always wanted one of these they're so handy and they're so cute but when i saw it in this color i was like "Ooh, gotta have it isn't she cute Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this. I mean, these are really popular, these card holders. I really like them because of how flat and compact they are. They just fit in all the tiny bags, but they're also great to just throw in like your toiletry pouches if you have the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouches, or you can you know throw them in your bigger handbags, whatever. They're just really handy, and I like that. And my mother has the black and gold one, and when I you know used hers, I was like, this is perfect. Because even my Louis Vuitton wallet, it's just slightly bigger and I wanted something really, really flat. Even though my Louis Vuitton wallet is smaller, it still is bigger than this as far as the width and I wanted something super flat. So I'm really happy with this. And actually, let me go get it so I can show you guys. So this is my Louis Vuitton card holder and I really like it because I can put cash in it and everything like that. But it is still slightly bigger than I want when I wear like a super tiny handbag. I want something as small as possible, but that's realistic. And this one does that for me. So just so you guys can see a comparison. You see this, this is the Louis Vuitton and this is the Saint Laurent. So it's even flatter, which is really nice. But they both have their place and I'm really happy with them. And this color is just everything. I love this color so much. And I feel like this color is going to look good with everything. But I also really had it in mind to wear with my... um. My Jack Mousse Grand Bambino bag. I think it's going to be so cute. Now let's get to what we came for. Okay, it's wrapped up real good. And it was raining. And even though the box wasn't like super wet, the male person did sit it down on the, on the ground. So I was kind of worried that the bag was going to get wet. But they had it in this really nice um, zip, like Ziploc. That's great. And then it's in the dust bag. I'm excited. And here it is, you guys. The Loewe Small Puzzle. Now, this is in the color Angora. I needed a white bag. I really needed a white bag. I There are a few kinds of bags, actually, that I feel like I still need. I'm looking at my bags in the um, in their case. That's why, that's why I was looking up. But there are a few bags, like colors and things I feel like I need. But a white bag is definitely one that I wanted to fill. And I knew I wanted to get a white bag this year. Um, 
because for me it's like spring summer fall winter whatever a white bag is like all year round but what i like about this color is that it's kind of like an off-white the color name is called angora and i did get it from essence if i didn't mention that before but on the essence website they have it listed as beige but when you scroll down and see the details of the bag is called angora um on the loewe website it's called angora and every other site that i've seen it on is called angora so just in case you guys are looking for it it might be listed under like beige or something like that but it's called angora and i wanted a color like this because i didn't want a bright stark white because i mentioned before that i have the um grand bambino from jack moose and that one comes in white but first of all that bag is smaller than i wanted to go for i wanted a bag that could actually fit some things in i wanted to be able to fit my vlog camera my phone my wallet like just right i don't want to have to figure out what fits in the bag i want to just put whatever i want to carry and this bag is pretty notorious for being able to fit a lot of things it honestly puts me in the mind of like the louis vuitton speedy because you can put so many things in it oh and it has the gold hardware i'm honestly in love with it now this bag has been out for a while. At first, when I initially saw the bag, I was like, I don't know about it. I think it's cute, but I don't know. But it's honestly proven that it's timeless. It's, it's a forever kind of a bag. They're not going anywhere. They constantly are coming out with different colorways and different, um, like with, they have it with silver. They have it with like blush pink. They have the brown. They have, their tans are gorgeous. I've seen grays. They actually have beige, taupe, so many colors. So I was like, let me get it. And this size is so cute. I do wish that it had the feet like the older version of this bag did, but that's okay. I still think it's cute. So let's open it. It has a gold zipper. And the actual Loewe dust bag was inside of it. And I really like how like minimalist Loewe is. It's not like logos all in your face. Very minor, even the dust bag just only has like a little tag here with the Loewe um, emblem on it. And it's nice. And then even on the handbag, you see it has the Loewe there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it because it's literally just embossed. And because the bag is light, you might not be able to tell, which I like. So it's a kind of like, if you know, you know kind of bag. It's not like logos on your face. I mean, and y'all know I like a logo, but it's nice to not have something with a logo on it, you know? You need something for different occasions. And that, okay, has a little little bit booklet in there. And then inside is just a hole, you know, it has one pocket. Hopefully you guys can see it. it's only one pocket up against the back there. And you might have seen, I watched so many reviews on this bag. So if you're like me, you know all about it. But I like the nice long zipper pull. And like many people, I thought it would be annoying to get in it. So we'll see how I feel about that after I wear it. But I think it's just so cute. And that little slouch that it gets over time, I think that's really cute as well. So I just wanted something I didn't have to really worry about fitting things in. I needed white and this is a really pretty like off-white kind of a shade. And I plan to um, experiment with some like twillies or something like that around the handle to protect it and also you know change the personality of the bag sometimes if i feel like that and then it also has the gold zipper back here and you can fit like your car your wallet in there if you want it to so here's the Saint Laurent card holder i'm just going to put it in there so you guys can see so that fits all the way in there so obviously if that card holder fits in there like with just enough space then my phone will not fit and i'm gonna have my phone by me to show you guys but that fits in there nice and snug i mean it's a little bit of space left but not enough space to fit a phone so that's actually really handy so you can have it like you know close to your body and have your wallet back there and you don't have to open the entire bag i think that's nice and then it also comes with this longer strap which I, I mean, I'm going to see how I feel about wearing it crossbody, but I really like to, um, how it looks held like top handle. I think that's so cute. But one thing that also really sold me about the bag is the way these little hooks are, are placed, they're twisted. So when you actually put the, when you actually hook this onto the bag, this longer strap, 
it keeps the bag from like toppling over and wobbling because they're kind of twisted. Can you see that? It twisted so it balances the bag, which I think is really smart. And those kind of like thoughtful things, they, they make the price worth it, they make the bag interesting, and they make the bag super functional. And these are things that I would not have thought of. So now the bag stays perfectly balanced when it's on, when it's on the um, longer strap and it's not toppling back and forth, you know? So that's super cute. One thing that a lot of people didn't like about the bag was that the newer strap kind of like just flaps around and this sticks out. It has something to hold it, but everyone says that it comes out of there. So I don't know. I'll let you guys know on an update, but right now it's, it's pretty snug. So I don't know if that'll happen to me. I'm just probably going to wear it like a, you know, accent. Maybe I'll get a chain for the bag or something like that. But this is what it looks like. And I really wanted the embossed Loewe sign to be the same color as the bag. I didn't want it to be a different color or stand out. I really love this solid color and then I love the panels that it has so overall I'm really happy with it so far and we'll see how it goes with it and I'll keep you guys updated I'm gonna style it like a ton that's why I got it I plan to wear it a lot and I'm really happy with it it looks like it's perfect now let's put her in her new home All right, you guys, so I took out my favorite pair of mules to show you guys a color comparison, and I'm hoping that you can get it across on camera. Now, these are a creamy kind of a white. They're off-white, and so is the bag, but it's just slightly different, but I just wanted you to see the difference if you could pick it up. Hopefully, it's coming across, and then even compared to uh, my shoe case in the back, you see how white the shoe case is, and then you can see this bag is not super bright, like optic white. And compared to the green you know what I mean I wanted you guys to see for comparison and what I also know I'm gonna love about this bag is that it is going to be like these shoes were for me or are for me they go with everything I wear them with so many things and that's how I'm gonna treat this bag I'm gonna wear it with all black I'm gonna wear it with all creams I'm gonna wear it with color I'm gonna wear it with a lot of stuff so anyway I wanted to show you guys how it compares to our favorite off-white mules so that's it you guys that was my quick little bag reveal and i think that it was well worth the wait and i don't mind that i opened it a little early and we got like a few hundred bucks cash back so i think that's a big deal you know <laughs> so i don't feel bad about canceling it and reordering it at all but i'm really happy with it so far it's a nice like off-white shade and i really wanted to make sure i didn't get like a beige or something like that so anyway that's it for me you guys let me know what you guys are thinking about your next looks bag purchase i would love to know and let me know your experience if you already have one of these i'd love to know about that as well thank you guys so much for tuning in and p.s i'm burning one of those other land candles that i told you guys about in a previous vlog the one that i'm burning is the purple one that smells like chai it smells really good it's very fragrant i really like it and i think you guys should check it out if you're interested in it it smells so good i have a burning you can't see it right now but it smells really good anyway i'll catch you guys in the next vlog if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for i would love to have you i'll see you guys later bye i get a lot of questions about how to grow a youtube channel how to start equipment recommendations what do i do so i wrote a book and i'm sharing it with you guys it's gonna detail everything that i did to grow my channel specific information and actionable steps that you can take to grow your YouTube channel. So if you are just wanting to start one, but you just have no idea where to start, you get overwhelmed and you just, it just seems so far away for you. This book will help you. If you already have a YouTube channel and maybe you've plateaued or you're just not seeing any kind of growth or you're not seeing the kind of growth that you feel like you should be seeing, this book will help you. It's going to detail everything that I have done and it'll have actionable steps that you guys can take to get you to the next level for your YouTube channel. So click the link in the description box and get started on your channel.